Is it too soon to reread it all again? You know my answer to that. Am I doing this correctly? Dream on. Okay, so that's not true. Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today to talk about some plans and changes. I'm gonna go over plans first and then changes because there's not actually a ton of changes, um, but just figured this would be a good time to also bring up those changes. Not enough to like make a whole separate video, but just like an FYI. So plans, I have many. <laughs> I keep thinking of 2022 as being this like chill open year where I'm just gonna be like free to do whatever. And then I started like actually writing down all of the things that I've already committed to. Uh, and I was like, okay, so that's not true. <laughs> Dream on. Some of the plans I have for you are like already something that is like started happening and is continuing to happen. And just like, I just thought I'd tell you everything that's currently happening or about to be happening, everything that I know of, everything that I'm signed up for, all in one place so that if there's something you didn't know about or you missed it or you forgot or you needed the exact details, here is the place for that. Um, I've kind of listed them on my cheat sheet kind of in order of appearance. So in order of like when these things are happening, for the most part I try and do anyway. I kind of whoopsie doopsie <laughs> whatever okay let's just get into it so first up you definitely don't know about this unless like i've specifically told you about it which is like two people so um, my friend heather who i've been doing the shakespeare chats with we're taking a break from shakespeare um briefly to read the ring sworn trilogy by oh god i wrote all this stuff down but i didn't write down the author where are the books show me your name book <sighs> i don't even know where it looks I want to say it's a robert or a jackson or a robert jackson or a jackson robert Something of that nature. My phone is too far to reach. Okay, I found it. That was wrong on all counts. It's Howard Andrew Jones, <laughs> not Robert and not Jackson. Um, so anyway, um, I've had the first book for quite some time and I've been meaning to read it. Somebody at some point really recommended it to me and I found it for a good price and then just like never prioritized it. But then um, Macmillan, oh God, is it Macmillan? Well, the publisher, it's not Macmillan. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh my God, it's a different M. It's St. Martin's Press. Okay. I, I, I never plan videos. I literally like typed out a Word doc with a table with all of the dates and the details. But did I check the author name or the publisher? No, I didn't. So anyway, the Ringsworn trilogy uh, in its entirety was sent to both me and Heather by St. Martin's Press. Um, so she and I are just gonna like power on through December and January. And then we're gonna do a live show to chat about it in like mid January. So we're gonna kind of it's three books so there's no like even way to split that so I'm gonna put the first two books on my TBR in December with the understanding that I might not finish the second book I might tag that on to January and read the other half of that as well as the third book in January we'll see how it shakes out but like across December and the beginning of January we're gonna read those three books so please join us they're not terribly long books which is why we feel like we can do it in that short amount of time they're not monstrously long but of course life being life if it ends up being the case so we can't quite manage to finish all three books by mid-january then for sure we'll let you know and then we'll do a live chat probably like in february or something if it comes to that but so we are for sure starting in december and the goal is to do a live chat mid-january so if you've never read that series or you haven't really liked it or you've been meaning to or you've never heard of it Whatever the case, um, please join us because it should be a good time. Next up is the Winter Night Trilogy read along. This is not hosted by me. It, I will be a guest host for one of the books. This is hosted by Evie and I'll leave her channel linked down below. I will be rereading all of the books, but I will be guest hosting for the second, that's one, the second book, <laughs> Girl in the Tower. I believe how she's scheduled it is that we're gonna read the book and then in the beginning of the subsequent month is when we'll do the live chat to, to talk about it. So Girl in the Tower, my book, will be in January because we're starting in December with Bear and the Nightingale. January Girl in the Tower, but I believe the Girl in the Tower chat will be the beginning of February, I think. Well, regardless, I'll be reading it in January. I'll be reading them all. So uh, check out her channel, check out the read along, and um, she I should have more details very shortly. <laughs> Next up, I have something that I, again, don't think anybody knows about like at all. Like literally at all? My good friend Hillary over at Bookborn and I are going to be kind of, sort of, trying on each other's favorite authors. So we were, I don't even know how this happened, but we were talking about Gaiman and about Murakami 
and I have a Murakami book that I've been meaning to read for forever and she has been meaning to read or reread American Gods. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it together. Um, so we're gonna both read American Gods and do a chat about it on my channel in January. And then in February, we're both gonna read Norwegian Wood by Murakami and chat about it on Hillary's channel. So if you would like to read along with us and come chat with us, please, please do so. Um, they are both authors known for having meaty books, so there should be plenty to discuss. Of course, Gaiman will come out of this the victor because he is the goat, but apart from that, I'm very much looking forward to rereading American Gods, chatting about it with Hillary, and then dipping my toes into the Murakami waters. Next up I have something that has already started, but I just kind of wanted to like give you an update on that situation. So the Song of Ice and Fire read along that I'm doing with uh, Jimmy from the Fantasy Network and Alex from Alex Nieves that started in October and is ongoing. Um, but originally we said we were going to read like the five currently published Song of Ice and Fire books and then also maybe possibly Fire and Blood. So we are now locking in that definitely we're doing Fire and Blood. And also, I believe this decision was made during the live show for Game of Thrones uh, in October that we're gonna do the world of Ice and Fire as well. And also maybe possibly some short stories. So this will never end is what I'm saying. We originally planned to do like five, maybe six books and now it's like, and more. So um, right now it's looking like it's running October through April, May. Um, we'll let you know how we go. So if you are joining us and you're coming to the lives, you'll you'll hear updates. But that's currently kind of what we're looking at is after we finish Dance with Dragons to do Fire and Blood and then the World of Ice and Fire and then the Dunkin' Egg stories, I think is what we're planning to do. <laughs> anyway, check back in, but that's that's currently the thinking. Next up, I have something that I, again, don't think a lot of people know about. I told my patrons about it, but so I, actually, I don't think, I don't know if you know part one of this is that I am now a permanent co-host of the chapter three podcast that Bethany started. So I'm not in every episode, but I am in all of the episodes that are like SFF related. We'll have other guests on as well. Sometimes it will only be just me and Bethany talking. Uh, we'll have other people on as well. But so that said, a large chunk of 2022 will be devoted to a first law read along on the podcast. So this is low key how Bethany <laughs> convinced me to join the podcast. It was kind of like the bribe. <laughs> So yes, I did read all of the first law in 2021. Is it too soon to reread it all again? You know my answer to that. It's never too soon. So we will be uh, embarking on the first law journey starting in January. Um, there it won't be. So there's there's ten books, and Bethany we like worked it out on our spreadsheet because we wanted to figure out how to slip in maybe a few episodes that are not first law related. So I think the plan right now is to kind of do the first trilogy back to back, then kind of take a quick break, then do the three standalones, then take a quick break, and then do the Age of Madness trilogy. So that's the going idea. Um, Bethany's got it all laid out in like spreadsheets and calendars because she's much more organized than I am. And I'm just like, I'll be reading first law. You just tell me where to be. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to that. And and yeah, so if you haven't read first law, um, now would be a great time. <laughs> to come and join us. Bethany has read the original trilogy before, so that will be a reread for her. I am very much looking forward to chatting with her though about what it's like rereading it after you get to the end of the trilogy. Cause I've said this so many times and, and I promise this whole video is now gonna be a first law video. But when you finish the trilogy is when you have that aha moment of like, oh, actually all of this was going somewhere. All of this was planned. All of this like is actually a thing. So the first time that you reread it, I say first time because of course I've read Blade itself four times. <laughs> the first time you go back and reread the Blade itself and before they are hanged, now with this knowledge of where this all actually ends up going, it's kind of a revelation. The re just how many things actually are laid out, the how many like seeds are planted that you had no idea. So Bethany's read the trilogy once, but I'm very much looking forward to her experiencing the trilogy now knowing where it goes and being able to go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so anyway, please join us. You know I love the first law, so I don't need an excuse to reread it. And if you've never read it, I'll be a great time.
Then next is another thing that I've mentioned here and there. And Bethany for sure, I think, has mentioned here and there. But this is not on the podcast. This will be on our channels. We are hosting a sort of truth read along for the entirety of 2022. <laughs> and there, there is more books than there are months. So we're just going to kind of stop at the 12th one. <laughs> so Bethany and I both read the sort of truth books some years ago and both loved them. And this last year, we did reread, uh, actually a couple years ago, we reread re re the first one and we're like, this is actually, this totally holds up. We actually still love this. And then this last year we were like, yeah, remember like we were rereading it and we really liked it and you know, we should continue. We were like, yeah. So then we read the second one this year and we were like, you know what? We should do a freaking read along. We should read all of them. We should make everybody read them. No one talks about them. Everyone craps on them. You know what? We should reread them all and like make a thing of it, <laughs> make our stand. So that's what we're doing. I am not aware that we've decided which channel we'll be handling which books, but it'll go back and forth, you know, me first or Bethany first and then go back and forth from there. So we'll let you know as soon as we know. But yeah, I'm super stoked to reread the Sword of Truth books, which I gotta say, are a ton of fun. I'm just honestly like so excited. Like it doesn't even feel like an obligation. I'm not thinking about 2022 and being like so many books that I've like decided that I've signed myself up for to read. I'm honestly stoked. Best part of my month is going to be rereading Sword of Truth because it's just fun. It's literally just fun. So join us for that. <laughs> then in February, Heather and I are making quite the comeback to Shakespeare because not we were doing just the Hogarths. But so the last Hogarth that neither of us has read, because she has read Vinegar Girl and I have not, and she's not a fan, so I don't know if she wants to reread it. We'll chat about that. The last one that neither of us has read is the retelling of King Lear called Dunbar. And so we decided to do a triple Lear. We're gonna read King Lear, the Hogarth Shakespeare retelling Dunbar, and then also the Queens of Innis Lear, and then do a grand old live show chatting about all three, comparing and contrasting them all. I've been meaning to read The Queens of Inneslear ever since I learned that it was a thing. So this seems like an excellent time to get around to it. And I'm so excited to chat with Heather because I always have a great time chatting with Heather. So if you would like to join us, please do so. We always have a great time chatting. And um, yeah, Shakespeare, still relevant. <laughs> and then uh, the last like kind of plans announcement is that we mentioned this in the live show on Amanda's channel for Blades and Bodice Rippers, but um, we will be moving to a quarterly schedule for Blades and Bodice Rippers. So in January, we will have a Blades and Bodice Rippers book and live show. It's my pick, Guns of the Dawn. Um, so the show will be on my channel. And then we're going to do the beginning of every quarter. So we'll do January, April, August. Am I doing this correctly? And October, it'll be the beginning of every quarter. So we will have a Halloween show still. We will still dress up for Halloween because we love doing that, but we're all just very, very busy. So we've decided to do, there's four of us, make it quarterly. So FYI. Okay, so then just briefly changes coming to my channel, which again, aren't many, not enough to justify an entire video. So my TBRs this year were get, have been getting crazier and crazier. And I do really want to, despite all these plans that I just announced to you, like I do want to carve out time for other things, which I'll quickly go into. But um, for that reason, my TBRs will be exclusively my obligations. So in 2021, at least in the latter half, when I was writing down my TBRs, I would literally like segment them into my obligations and to everything else. I just won't have an everything else section anymore. Like I might read other things in the month. I very much hope to read other things in the month, but I don't want to like push myself to read just a ton of books. And I don't really plan to have any goals for like series that I want to start or series that I want to finish. I just like, I just don't, I have enough things going on. So my, I'll, my TBRs for them, I'll still post TBR videos and in those TBR videos, I'll give an update of sort of like what's going on with me, but it'll be predominantly just whatever I've like, is a read along that I've signed up for or an official buddy read that I've signed up for or things like that. That will be my official TBR. And then I'll, that leaves me room to actually read things that I've been wanting to read for like some other sort of TBR type projects that are like themed books that I don't really want to squeeze them all into one month secretly and then not tell you or then anyway so there's like other projects like that where I wanted to like read several books for that project and I don't feel like I've had the room to do that or just to do other things besides reading uh and, and certainly to mood read uh here and there so that's kind of what I hope to do with that where like I still want to have a TBR because it gives me some kind of structure uh and I have signed myself up for a bunch of things but uh the rest of the month 
frees me up to be able to do other types of reading projects and also just to not read. <laughs> then I am planning to start my second channel, which I meant to do in 2021, but I've just been too terribly busy. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just start in 2022, fresh beginning of the year. I'm going to start a channel for vegan food and food related content because I have posted about that here, but this is a book channel. So I completely understand that people are here for books mainly. So if you do want to hear me talk about um, vegan recipes or vegan food recommendations or trying out different vegan things or whatever, that kind of thing, I will be starting my second channel. This does affect my main channel insofar as it has not been, it is not reasonable for me to do more than two videos in a week, which have all been videos for my booktube channel. Um, and so I will continue to do two videos every week, but that will mean one video is a book one and one video is a vegan food one. Now I have also posted extra videos. I don't like stick strictly to a two videos a week schedule. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, but like I can't really like commit to more than one to two in a week. So since I'm starting a second channel, I will probably do one video a week on my booktube channel. And then, I mean, obviously do extra videos here and there as I am able, as I see fit, as I want to, as I have time to, but like committing to, I mean, even, I mean, when in my outro, I always say I post videos on Saturdays, but I aim to always post videos on Saturdays and Wednesdays. I just never say Wednesdays because I want to give myself the leeway to not post on a Wednesday if I don't have time. Like I, you can take Saturday to the bank. And then Wednesdays, maybe, prob probably. So now it'll be more pretty much just Saturdays so that I have the space and time to do a, a, a food video as well. And despite all of these plans that I have, uh, all these books that I'm signed myself up for, for reading all these projects, a whole second channel that I'm starting, part of why I wanted to kind of cut down on my TBRs, even though it doesn't sound like I am, is because I want to write again. I really just didn't write almost at all in 2021. And I cannot even tell you how much I keep thinking about it and how much I keep thinking about that magical, mystical future time when I will have all of the time in the world to be writing. And it just like never comes. I'm so freaking busy all the time. And I keep saying yes to things. So I'm trying. Uh, it may not seem like it, but I'm trying to cut down. So like if my TBRs are only my obligations, that gives me the space to, to do writing if I feel like it, or if I don't feel like it, if, if I'm not, if I've got writer's block, you know, I can just mood read, but I haven't signed myself up for so many things that every waking, breathing moment is spent either reading or then filming a video about reading or editing a video that I filmed about reading. I do want to give myself some grace uh, to be able to do that. And as I mentioned before about reading books um, outside of a TBR or just like for other projects, there are so many books that I've collected that are specifically for what I'm writing. And like, I don't really want to put them on a TBR and I don't really want to talk about them on my channel because I'm not reading them to read them. I'm reading them for specific like research reasons for what I am writing. And so like, this isn't an author tube channel. I don't want to talk about what I'm reading in order to research what I'm writing but I don't have any space to read anything to research for what I'm writing because my TBRs are like filled to the brim. So I'm hoping in 2022, despite signing myself up for so many things to kind of still keep it tighter, keep it narrower and give myself some space to do some writing, which I think about every single day and I go to sleep sad that I have not written a word. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. That's what's going on with the channel, with the podcast. I'll have all of the relevant links down below, all the channels that I've mentioned, where you can find the podcast, the the books that I've mentioned, if you want to get them so you can get a head start on reading them. I can't imagine what else, but if I've mentioned anything else that requires a link, then it will be linked down below. <laughs> yeah. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about whatever I've shared. If you've got questions about anything that I've shared, I've tried to give you as much information as I have. The questions you have may be questions that I can't answer. But if you've got questions about any of these plans, do let me know and I will do my best to answer. Whatever you want to let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.